Hey guys. Hey. Oh, I thought I was starting it off. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Matt and Heather, um, we just mixed our paint, or my paint, uh, we're using the MCW paint, and we just added some darker colors to give it more of a creamy off-white, and yeah, so I guess we're ready to paint, I guess. We did take the body and out of the incubator, it got finished incubating, and we did a little light sanding on it, um, imperfections and things like that, got, so they got that took care of um yeah i got the paint mixed up so when you guys are messing with the mcw paints and you add the hardener because with the enamel paints you can add the enamel hardener and if you add the hardener you better go ahead and use the paint so what we've done we've mixed up we've mixed our paint in a separate container other, rather other than the one i'm going to be shooting out of i'll be i'll use this one to shoot my paint this is the container that we've mixed just the paint no reducer no hardener so be careful if, when you do this, if you're going to use hardener, which I recommend because it, it, it accelerates the process so much faster and the finish is rock. It's like a shell, so hard. Use it in a separate container before you, um, before you add your hardener. Anyway, and I, I learned that the hard way before because when I did my, my paint for my green 66 Nova there, I didn't think about it and I mixed all the paint and the hardener together. So I'm not gonna do that this time. This is just paint and it's already mixed color wise. Hard to duplicate since we don't have a measurement. So I've got it off to the side. Anyway, I'm getting real technical here. You ready to paint? Yep. All right, so we're gonna get the paint booth set up and shoot some paint. So stand by. Okay, so got the paint mixed up. Sorry, I got the camera up here on the shelf. Looking all funny. I'm gonna paint the hood just so she can see. Or maybe should I paint the bed so you can see how I paint around fenders. Anyway, I'm gonna paint one part of it so she can see how how to operate this thing because that's not fair just sitting here paint it. So I'll at least want to show her one portion. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then we'll let her paint the rest. So aren't you excited? Yes. All right. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> All right. So um, I think I'll turn on the vacuum cleaner, put some music on, and we'll see how this goes. We may not have enough paint to paint the rest of it because I might have used it all. <laughs> might have used it all on the uh, on the bed. But if this thing would touch the screen on the bed, like you see the screen, the touch screen, touch it. I 
Okay, that didn't work. Anyway, this thing is a uh, maybe if I hold it further. Super, super nice looking. Glossy, glossy, glossy. Obviously, we all know when our we do paint that it always looks good when it's wet. So we'll see when it dries. But um, <clears throat> yes, I assisted her. She needed help. But she did really and truly paint this thing. So the bed looks great. Kind of a hard one to start on, you know, because those rounded rounded edges are always going to be a, and a pain. And I have no coordination. So. And she's, so what I was trying to tell her is, is when you're painting like a the fender and you want to outline that seam first, um, you have to keep your airbrush at that angle as you go around and the airbrush has to change keep the angle rather than trying to paint that like, angle so yeah. she her problem is she's trying to paint an angle but she's trying to do it with the airbrush staying at the same angle but if you can imagine if your airbrush was attached to that seam by a piece of string and you pulled out on it and it was attached to the tip of your airbrush that would be the the direction you'd want to go it, it stays pointing to that uh, surface area anyway obviously most of you guys know what I'm talking about. Heather's just learning. So, mm -hmm. all right. So, I'm gonna. I remembered my math, she, David. David Chin. <laughs> Thanks, David, for chastising <laughs> us about not having mask on. But that thing actually sucks it out good. I'm, I'm just a. It wasn't too bad yesterday, but this, the airbrush, makes more of a cloud, and I felt like I was eating I, it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a tough guy. I just bear, and then I blow my nose later, and I'm like, man, look at all the paint. Yeah, I always tell you to wear a mask. So she 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 told me David said to wear a mask. So anyway, there you go, David Chin. I got a whole bunch of them over there. So <laughs> if she ever paints again, and I hope she does, she'll have a mask. So we will um, get the hood <clears throat> set up or the body now, and see how that goes. It's going pretty good. What what? So, so tell us, what? tell the audience, what do you think about this whole painting? Is it is it does it look easier? or Is it easier than it looks? It looks easier when he does it. It just looks so easy, and it's. I'm not very coordinated, so it was a little difficult, but it's fun. It's fun, she mm. says. This thing zoomed in. No wonder I couldn't, my arm was shorter. And I kept forgetting to, I kept getting really close to it, and he kept saying, come say, back, too close. come back, come back. Too close, too close, too close, and I don't know how much of that, I don't know if I'll have um, uh, music playing or what, because I was talking the whole time, but I don't think you would be able to hear my talking, so more than likely I'll have a... I would have put music over that portion, but anyway, she'd, I'd be like, "You're too close, too close." Be he like one, that so many be times, like one I inch, and, that, and be like, then, then I'm like, "Not enough paint, not enough paint." It's like uh, she would be having enough paint, like you see those guys do T-shirts when they're doing a real fine pinpoint line. That's kind of well. I kept pushing down, thinking that that would give more paint, but actually gives air. more air, yeah, and so I needed air. to pull back. But once I figured that, I'm like, oh, "Okay." Yeah. <clears throat> but it's looking good looking really really good in the the color i like it i think it looks really nice for just mixed up paint but anyway all right so i'm gonna set the camera back up and we'll do some more paint Stand by. go back to real time i guess that went pretty good yeah. so, huh. so painting the primer is a lot easier than painting uh for sure painting this up uh, the paint and paint so it doesn't 
take near mm -hmm. as long. It don't smell near as bad. Which I don't think paint stinks. It just it sticks, stink. sticks I just in your nose my, hairs. In my mouth. Yeah. All right. So David <laughs> Chen saved her lungs. Thanks, David. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it turned out real nice. This is a first coat. So they have to have a second coat. And the reason being is the... Um, uh, the gray primer is a little it's a little too dark for us using a, a such a light color so a lot of your edges will show through I did go and add a touch more just uh, full strength paint to our mix so that uh, that helped I think on the body and on the hood but we're going to let that tack up may give it a second coat depending on what it looks like and uh, see you here in a bit thanks for watching thank you Okay, so the um, paint turned out good. Got a second coat on it. Mm -hmm. She just painted her seats. Where, where'd it go? Oh, yeah. So painted the seat here, and I was showing her how to kind of leave the black showing through a little bit to give it that effect of depth, along with the door panels. She did good on those too. Uh, mainly everything is now painted. Oh, and we forgot to paint the dash earlier, so I still had paint left over, so I got the dash. It's body color. Um, but other than that, we're pretty well done. Every body looks great. Um, the, uh, the hood right there, you saw it, looks good. But other than that, that that's going good. So we got, we got some more assembly. We're going to start to assemble some parts now because we've got so many, so many uh, painted parts that we can go ahead and get some uh, assembling done. So we'll, we'll do some of that and we'll come back. Probably won't be today, but this video um, will we'll spill over into another day. So. All right, so see you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Actually, see you in like a split second. All right, yeah. bye. <laughs> no, it's fine. Hey, we're, we're back. Um, so now the paint's dry on the body. It looks super good. My wife did an amazing job at painting <laughs> this. That's just the color I wanted. And it's, she says it's just the color she wants. It looks a little more lighter mm. on this camera screen, at least. It's, it's yeah. a little more... Um, creamier right. than on the it just looks a different color. it's warmer, warmer in person anyway i can't warm it up if i did warm it up the, everything would be totally off and also the chrome parts have a nice coat of um rust-oleum appliance epoxy which i find to be it's what i use for my exhaust and it just does a really 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 good job on the uh the finish that we were looking for as far as like a um, a matte finish but a metal so everything the valve covers um valve covers in, intake uh, steering wheel steering column all that is going to be that color and we're going to start putting some stuff together door panels everything's dry right now so we can we can start actually doing some assembly I don't know if we want to do, um, I don't think we're going to do plug wires on this one because if we do enter this into a show, I would want to probably let her enter it in box stock. And if you do plug wires, it, it pulls you from that category. So you want to put plug wires or just do box stock? Whatever you think. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I think. I think we're probably just going to do box stock. So I'll paint the distributor. You gotta do some painting on the engine. The engine is just black. And yes, thank you for all you uh, Ford aficionados that thanks for letting me know that 19 prior to 1964 was it? I can't remember. But that they were all black. I let you know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that was funny. I let her down. I thought that I knew a lot more about Fords, but in, Fords aren't blue anymore either. So I guess I'm just really out of the loop. So she she was correct on the color of the 50, but that engine wouldn't be in this 55 smarty guys because it would have been in 1955 they didn't even have a small block ford i think the 260 came out in the early 60s or something like that which would have been the same as a 302 or something like that but anyway I, it would have probably been black too i don't know but this truck would have had like a flathead in it i think in the 50s late 50s mid 50s whatever i'm no ford expert i'm no expert at anything um, okay, so we're going to get started putting some stuff together and we will be back in just a second.
she's painting. She got the exhaust painted on the engine, and she's now she's painting the alternator and got the my panel here for kind of reference. But got to look and and I don't see my firewall anywhere or her firewall anywhere. This this kit doesn't have many parts, but doggone if that thing's just missing. So I had to bust open another kit here, which I don't like to do. And here's the firewall, but there's no way I missed taking that off of the tree because I just went through all the trash mm -hmm. and went through all that and couldn't find it there either. So I'm either overlooking this thing. Good thing you got I had multiple kits. So and now this is open. I can I got a little video on doing that, but I don't know. Don't have any idea where the firewall is at, and maybe I'll come upon it. If not, I'll have to bum a firewall off some of you guys out in YouTube land, or maybe maybe I can find one on eBay to replenish this other kit. I did do some cleaning the other day, but I don't think it had anything to do had anything to do with that. I don't remember moving it, but she's getting things painted. She got the exhaust painted on it, and it looks pretty good. And now she's OCDing about her little. Uh, alternator that I told her I said you can't even see it hardly so she's there you go I'm zooming up on your on your fine detail so she's painting it up all right the search continues on for the firewall and she's gonna keep doing some detail painting and uh, we we're gonna get this thing together so all right <laughs> She's about to finish this engine up, getting the intake plenum, fuel injection plenum or whatever it's called. That thing on a Ford that covers up the valve cover so you can't change the valve cover gaskets unless you pull it off. That's good. Oops. Do, oh wait, do I have the other side in there? I do, I do. That's good. It's already stuck. Let's let's take a look at it. Look at here, feller. She's we're gonna do a little Ouch. um we'll blackwash it a little bit, but it looks pretty good. Got the pulley on it. And uh yeah. Fuel injected small block forward, painted black. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. How do you feel about yourself? Oh, I feel great. Feel great? This was fun. Was it really fun? Yeah, it was. You're not just saying that because people are watching no, you right I, now? I enjoyed it. Look in the camera and say it was fun. It was fun. Okay. Got the engine in it, and we dropped it, and it knocked the plenum off. But Does it matter which way the blades right. go? No, just, okay. no, 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 it doesn't matter. We're putting the fan on it. All right, yeah. Hold it just a second. I can shoot some accelerator on it. Got it? Mm-hmm. 
just hold it for just a second. I hope it's centered on there. Okay. All right. So we got the exhaust up in there. You, yeah, and they have to and be, he broke a part off of my. I already said that. So we dropped it. <laughs> now my finger's stuck. Hey, look at she's gluing her fingers together. So, um, now what we're gonna do next? So we got that drive trains in it. I guess we could go get, put the exhaust on. Um, I don't follow instructions very well, so we can put the seat in. Uh, yep. So there's your oh, seat. Here's the door panels. We can't do them yet. So go ahead and pre-fit it. Make sure the seat fits right. And there goes in between those things. Seat looks good with the yeah, seems like it fits. black showing. All right. So if it fits fine, yep. take it off and put a little, just a small bead of super, excuse me, super glue around the bottom of that because super glue fogs leaves that white fog and if you get too much okay. you will definitely it will show because it's black not that you can see it when the body's on there but it takes a while to get down I've been using what's it Gorilla Super Glue works pretty good but it can get a little thick not too much just, you, and you don't have to do the whole thing you can just like dot it around if you want to do it that way Nothing's going to be pressing on the seat to make it fall off. So, and then that's going to go there. That looks good, don't it, guys? She painted the exhaust, left the transmission black. Uh, the distributors in it, the exhaust that are painted with that epoxy paint, appliance paint. Press her down. I see the glue right there. Just take that Q-tip and wipe it. You might want a better Q-tip. Those are kind of condensed. They don't Actually, soak up very well. Kind of gets into that seam. And I'm fiddling with a firewall because I didn't want to use the firewall that got lost. So I was trying to make a. I had a piece of styrene here, and I'm. I think I'm going to make a flat because I was noticing the firewall. Oh gee whiz, what did I do with it now? There it is. This firewall has a, it sets back a little. It doesn't necessarily have to have that. So I'm just going to, I was taking this one, making a template, and I'm just going to make a custom firewall and then paint it the body color. So that's where we're at there. So let's, me and her get her heads together and we'll come back in just a second. Alrighty. Didn't pop in as easy as your. Oh, oh, well, great. Just. Ooh. Oh! Okay, let's try this again. Why is it going in? Wait, I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, let's. I'll tell you what. Let's take that one back out. It's got like a bulge on the tire. We'll use that as the inside. And then. Did I mess it up? No. It's not going in very easily like when you showed me it just popped in oh did it yeah. so just press it like with all your, with your fingers at all at one time push it down at the same time did tires ever give you this kind of problems guys she pushed it in too far that ah, again. let me see if I can do it one handed show off Nope, it went too far. Too far? It? Oh well. Maybe it's the the side. Maybe it's got some build up on. Try, try, this one. try on this side. Yep. Aren't y'all enjoying this? Ah, you missed it. I got it in there one pop. All right. N not really. It's too far down on that one side. Oh well. And then the. <laughs> then the. Backs go on there, same way. Well, that gloss well, paint really looks that? funny. That's good. Okay. All right, so flip the tire over and pop the backs in there, and they kind of pop in there. You know what? We'll need to probably put a, put one in, and then I'll fill and see if we actually need to glue. I mean, like how because far? Because sometimes does they it go? need to glue to the rim, but sometimes the tire actually holds them in. 
This is take three on this, so I'm not going <laughs> to let her stop it this time. Okay, so here it is, mocked up. She um, thinks mocked up sounds weird, but you guys know exactly <laughs> what that means. Anyway, I like how it looks. It's something that I would definitely drive. Show them the color of the, the grill. See the grill? So we took the chrome off of it, and the bumpers are going to be that exact same color. Isn't that cool looking? Yes. And the wheels match, and nothing's glued on it's just sitting there so if the wheels are a little cattywampus why am i yeah. talking go ahead you talk i don't know what else to say what else do we have to do we have to glue the rest of it together so the windows aren't in because i want to uh fit the firewall that i'm building for it i'm gonna build a custom firewall and then she's still got to put the windows the dashboard's got to be detailed it's right here it's body yeah. color so there's the dashboard I'll just put it in the back of the truck. And, and one uh, thing that I was disappointed about though is um, right here in the paint. Let's you won't see. Be able to see it. Let's see. Right. You can see it too. Yeah, it's like some debris flew out when I was airbrushing. Everybody and, gets a little fuzz in the paint. And I was paint. like, oh man. But look at this gloss on that thing. Isn't that something? And that's that's just the enamel paint. There's no there's no clear coat. There's no buffing even done to it. Yeah. Boy, is it shiny. But I did have a lot of fun painting it, and it's been fun. Yep. Anyway. I'm going to give the camera back to oh you. Oh, my goodness. All right, so <laughs> all right, so we're going to finish up part two. This is part three. Three. Uh, part three. No. I don't know. Let's see. The first one was you. Yeah, this is part three. Yep, yeah, definitely. Anyway, part three. Got it. And getting a lot done so it one more um one more video and this thing will be complete and she'll it'll be as i hope it's as pretty as you are Aww, honey so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway um it looks real good actually i am kind of i'm not kind of guys could you imagine your first model turning out looking like this i've been here to help but i mean really i hadn't built it no but man look at the paint look at that Thank you. Wow. Great job. Anyway, I told her, I said, this is kind of bad because it's like your first model kit should just be spray bombed and, and glued together and there it is. But this one's kind of coming out like a like a show truck. What about and those windshield wipers? We'll have to paint the windshield okay, wipers. Like, I don't want them that oh, and by the way, she doesn't want chrome. So around the windows, we're going to have to mask off and paint black. Um, I have the foose truck here probably can't see but that it has black um, rubber trim so that's what we'll do on it we'll have black trim and the door handles will be painted the Ford logo in the back Ooh, I don't know what we're gonna do there I don't know if we're gonna paint or not it weren't, they weren't always painted but the back window will also have the black trim and under the hood oh we didn't glue my part back oh, yes yeah, it's, it's okay so the the intake plenum is laying up here but we'll get that in the radiator is somewhere laying around here right here and it's got to be goes like right here right <laughs> yeah, yeah it goes in front of you <laughs> yeah it goes down in yeah. front of the fan and it glues to the actual body i did actually know one. that so all right anyway it's all like she said it's all mocked up and looking good so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to mine and her channel not really not yet <laughs> Uh, she's just a guest guest uh, she has a guest appearance a guest yes. star she is a guest star on Aww. here um so don't forget to subscribe if you would and don't forget to go to the facebook group and join and don't forget to go to hobby nut models where this model came from and buy a kit and some mcw paint that's what's on here don't forget to go get some of that great mcw paint and don't forget to go to the teespring store if you haven't already go buy a t-shirt mug uh, hoodie sticker some of that stuff and we appreciate it and this is it so part three in the books uh look forward to part three and finishing this thing up and have some great pictures anyway see you next time on the next video you bye, guys take care bye 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 sure? bye <laughs> so here it is I so here it is all mocked up that sounds stupid. Hey, Take that out. She's, she's talking. He's trying to tell me what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Take that out. No, no. no. Take that out. <laughs>